Hey Grinnipe, I'm Maya Murphy-Cook. And I'm Taylor Wilson. Welcome to the last bulletin brought to you by us. I know, I know, it's all emotional. Tissue for an issue. Thanks. Friday, May 15th, spend your day at the Bay. Granite Bay, that is. We will provide inflatables. Food. Food in trucks. The good old fashioned water balloon brawl. Temporary airbrush tattoos. Which can last up to one month without showering regularly. And support your campus clubs by bringing money and buying what they're selling. Now, boys do sports. Hi, I'm Kyle Wood. And I'm Keaton Donald. Thursday, May 7th at 4 p.m., there's girls soccer playoffs round two. Good luck, ladies. And at 5.30, there's girls lacrosse at St. Francis. Friday, May 8th at 4 p.m., track and field district cup champ. Then at 7.30 p.m., Varsity Boys Lacrosse SVLC Championship. That's it for sports. I'm Keaton Donald. And I'm Kyle Wood. Have a good day, Granite Bay. And remember, Roll, roll tribe. tribe. Boys did sports. Yes, they did. Thanks, guys. Quad dance is coming up, so grab your squad and head to the quad for a dance. And this year's theme is Rumble in the Jungle. This goes down May 15th from 7.30 to 11 o'clock p.m. Prices are $9 without activities, $7 with activities, and $10 on Friday. Congratulations to the senior class for winning overall spirit this year. To reward you, tickets are only $3. And now, we shall play a nice video on Trap Team. Enjoy this gun show. Come out and join the Trap Team. If you want to join the team and are willing to commit, go see Mr. Brawley sometime in November for more information. Hi, I'm Thomas Bernalino here with Brick. Can you tell us how your JV swim season is going so far? Well, you know, we're just wrecking the competition this year. We're doing really well. At what point does it stop being awkward wearing Speedos around other men? Well, you know, Thomas, it really wasn't in the first place. It's a lot of fun. Thank you. Hi, this is Kendall and John. And how is your swim season going so far? We won league undefeated. 18 years and counting. And why are you guys wearing the same tank top? Because we won champs. Sun's out, guns out. Thank you. <laughs> Hi, this is Keenan Kokol. What can you tell us about your season so far? Uh, so far, we've been doing really well. We are 10 0 in the league, and uh, we beat our biggest competition in league championships and a dual meet uh, a couple weeks ago, which was Oak Ridge, their varsity team. So they've been really good so far, or they've been really good this year. All right, so your coach tells me that the swim team doesn't get enough credit for all the stuff they do. What do you think about that? Uh, I think it's probably true. I mean, everybody thinks they uh, deserve more credit, but we have a really good record, haven't lost in, I believe, 17 years, and uh, nobody at the team seems to care. I mean, nobody at the school seems to care, but I could be wrong. Thank you. Hi, this is... Cassidy Henson. And how's your swim season going so far? Um, it's going pretty good. We just had our 19th year win streak at um, high school league and we're moving on to sections and hopefully states. Why do they call you Fierce Cass? They call me Fierce Cass because it's my Twitter handle um, and because you know I'm sassy, pretty fierce in the pool. How long have you been swimming? Um, I've been swimming for 13 years. And even though it's just you getting your own times, what makes swimming a team sport? Um, what makes swimming a team sport is that we all practice together, you know, guys and girls, and we really have to lift each other up during practice and have really good camaraderie during our meets and stuff and cheer for each other, so. Thank you. Welcome to the first edition of Twin Two Grizzlies. I'm your host, Brandon Baba O. Today we have the wonderful Mr. Esposito. How you doing? Doing good. Good, me too. Glad to be on your show. This is the inaugural show, I guess? Yeah. Good. Having fun. How about yourself? I'm, I'm doing good. Good. Um, so how are you? Well, I'm doing well. I'm doing pretty good. How about yourself? Um, I'm doing pretty well. Yeah? What's new with you? Uh, now you're a big talk show host. Uh, I was talking, but 
I, honestly, uh, nothing, nothing really. Okay. Uh, yeah. So, uh, how's your baseball team doing? We're doing pretty good. You know, we've uh, won the last uh, eight out of uh, ten games, and we're working to try to win the last two and uh, make the playoffs. And we've been uh, progressively getting better every week. Um, that's good. Uh, that's great. Um, okay, so um, so how are you kids? Um, doing good. Um, you know, I'm enjoying um, you know being with them every day. They're they're have, I'm having fun. You know, being out there with the guys. They're a good group of guys. Uh, keep you light. You know, keep you loose. It's uh, one of those things. Uh, am I boring you here or what? Oh, you no, you no, looking no. on the other way? I was just oh, wondering no, maybe. Just looking at the next one. Oh, you were just looking at the next one. Yeah. All right, cool. Uh, you talking about my my kids, my you're, personal you're kids? Personally. Oh yeah, them. Oh, I'm sorry. I thought you were talking about my players. Yeah, my kids are doing well. Um, yeah, my oldest son's 24 years old. Works at Google. Has a good job. And then I've got a 21 year old and a 20 and an eight, a 19 year old. I can't remember. I'm so old. But they're all doing well. Yeah, family's doing good. Thanks for asking. You know, get caught in mouth. No, um, I like to drink like soda or, good, or, or a good glass of uh, oh, Gatorade? Gatorade. Oh, I like Gatorade too sometimes. Let's get, get this many Gatorade. Um, you get the blue one? You get the red. I get the red one? Fruit punch one. Oh, I got gotcha. you. <clears throat> yeah, oh, I see. Uh, I got to pick mine up off the floor, huh? How's, yeah. What's up with that? Uh, what was I supposed to teach you the technique of how to field a ground ball like that? Or what was the deal uh, there? Well, honestly, like it was... Maybe it was just a bad throw. That was a bad throw. I made a good play on it. Is that yeah, what you're saying? Yeah, so good thing we got our first sponsor out of the way. Mm-hmm. Um, hopefully they can fund us so then we can get grizz actual grizzly bears. Now we yeah, you know, this doesn't quite look like a grizzly bear to me. I'm not yeah. sure what that is. Most of, most of the budget went into the... Went into the script making? No, it went into the Gatorade. Buying the two Gatorades? Yeah. You guys got a thin budget, don't you? Yeah, it was only $5. $5? So, um, how much do you bench? Um, I don't know where that question comes in on how our season's going, but uh, enough. Yeah, I bench like twice as much, though. So twice as much as what? Enough. Enough? Yeah. So that's two enoughs. Yeah, double enough. Well, we probably should go check that out then. You sometime. Know, actually, I'm a little tired. We just worked out, so. Yeah, but you just drank your Gatorade. You're ready to roll. Uh, uh, yeah, but, uh, you know. They're like, hey, you forgot to promote baseball. That was the whole point of this interview. Jit. The whole point of this interview is to promote baseball. Like, um, go to the baseball game. Um, it's Monday. Playoffs are Monday. They're supposed to be good. That was a banging way to end a bulletin. Well, I'm Maya Murphy Cook. And I'm Taylor Wilson. In case you haven't been able to remember our names, have a good day, Granite Bay.